So I don't really do the fast food thing very much, you know. I, I lost all this weight. I don't really go very much. But the other day I had like 30 minutes left. Uh, and 30 minutes is like a gold mine to me. So I decided, hey, you know, the only, one thing I do eat whenever I do fast food is I, I'll go to Taco Bell. So how hard can it be? You know, it's beans, meat, rice, cheese, yeah, little vegetables. How hard can it be? You can't fuck it up. Throw in a taco shell. Nah, anyway, so it's the same thing. It's just in a different form. <coughs> so I go into Taco Bell and I drive into the parking lot and there's nobody there. And I think, okay, this is going to be great. So I go in and as I'm walking up to the door, there's a homeless woman there. And I think, eh, hey, you know, it's kind of in my way. And But you you know, they're everywhere. They're on the street corners, and sometimes they're holding up the little signs, and some of them say, need food. Anything will help. Well, you don't want to feel bad. Anyway, it's not really my problem, so. I go in, and I get the same thing that I always get at Taco Bell, which is a burrito supreme with extra sour cream, and a large taco, and a, a large Diet Pepsi. <laughs> trying to watch my figure, you know? Anyway, so I go in, and get my food and I go over to my table and, and uh, I realize I gotta go to the bathroom. I gotta pee. I look around, there's nobody there, so I, I go ahead and I leave my food and I go to the bathroom. I, I come back out and, well, that homeless woman is cutting my food off my table. She's eating my burrito supreme. And I'm kinda pissed off. And then I think, uh, well, what if she's one of the ladies at the corner who needs food? And I was still pissed off, <laughs> you know, so I walk over to her and I'm like, hey, you got my food. She grabbed the table and she grabbed the tray and she's like, my food, my food. Well, I, I, I felt terrible. I felt just terrible. I, my mama, my mama would have kicked my ass. Yeah, she would have. So I, I, I walked away, and I, you know, I walked back up to the counter. And I was like, hey, that homeless woman took my food. The lady behind the counter turns to me, she goes, oh, that's just Mary. And at that point, I'm kind of pissed. I'm like, hey, you know who this bitch is. <laughs> yeah, anyway, she's like, well, sometimes we let her come in here. And uh, normally, uh, she doesn't take people's food. She just kind of, you know, we'll, we'll give her food. And, we're really sorry. We'll just replace your order. So what did you have to eat? So I repeat my order to her, and I'm like, a burrito supreme with extra sour cream, a large taco, and a large Diet Pepsi. Because they don't sell Diet Coke at Taco Bell. Anyway, so they replace my order and give me the little brown tray, and I walk back over to my table. I sit down, and I'm eating my food. And uh, by this time, I'm looking over, and I'm giving Mary a couple of these. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm sitting there watching Mary eat my food, my food, and well, guess what? Mary gets up, she finishes the tray, she finishes the food, she takes the tray over to the little trash can, and she throws it away, and then Mary goes to the bathroom. By the way, it takes exactly three minutes and 47 seconds for a homeless person to go to the bathroom. Keep that in mind. Well, when Mary went to the bathroom, Mary left her bag. Oh, yes, I did. So after three minutes and 47 seconds, Mary came out of the bathroom. And she walks out there, and she sees that her bag is now over at my table. She walks out. Looks around, and she sees that her bag's over my table. She sees it, she comes up, and she goes, Excuse me, sir, I think you cut my bag. And I went, My bag, my bag! I scared her. I scared her, Mary. Mary got up and rested, and she walked and ran out that door. Mm hmm. I was literally left holding the bag. What? What's that you ask? What was in the bag? Well, I actually still have it here in my car. It was bullshit, just like the rest of the story. But you know you're gonna tell that one tomorrow.